You are listening to the Taps and Tees Show, weekly conversations for people passionate about marketing, golf, and craft beer. Marty is the co-founder of Bad Rhino, an award-winning digital marketing agency helping golf and craft beer brands get real results in social media marketing. Here is your host, Marty McDonald. Hey, everybody. This is Marty McDonald with Taps and Tees. And today... We're going to talk about something that I really, really, really love. Me. <laughs> I'm going to talk about my book, which is called uh, Great Beer is Not Enough. And um, putting together these podcasts and, and talking about things, this was the one that uh, working with my producer and working with a couple of friends that are marketers as well, I said, you know, I, I don't know. I'm like, I sometimes when doing this, you you don't want to just be like, this is a blatant commercial. And I'm going to say this not even a minute in, this is a little bit of a commercial about the book called Great Beer is Not Enough, how social media can create raving fans and increase consumer demand. It's available on Amazon. Also, if you go to greatbeersnotenough.com, you can find it there. It's an ebook there, $4.99 or $9.99 or something like that. And you can go from there. If you're looking for a bunch of them, just reach out to me. But the reason I want to talk about this is uh, really the philosophy about putting a book together and talk a little bit how it ties into what we do at Bad Rhino, what we do in just putting things together with a plan, with integrity, with how we do business and all that. And I poured it into this short book. Uh, It's about 80 some pages long, I think maybe 90 total. It's a quick read. I get a lot of comments from all over the place about it, which has been amazing to me, just putting out one little book and really not promoting it too much. Really the podcast and a couple other things, speaking engagements have been the only way I promoted the book. And I've sold quite a few. When I get checks from Amazon, I was shocked. I was using this as something that I could hand to somebody and they could get a little bit more idea about who I am and who Bad Rhino is. And it really focuses in on a couple of different things. It's not something that, you know, it's a New York Times bestseller. It's not something that I expect to have anybody pick up and just read. But if you're in craft beer, whether you're a brewer, whether you're an owner, or if you're a small business owner, you could take this book and apply it to your business. You could pretty much apply it to just about anything that's social media related and anything that's marketing related, honestly. I wrote it to be specific to beer because we had worked with a few different clients and a lot of the things are common questions that we get. So the first first chapter, it's called, It's Great Beer, Now What? And it really just talks about you create something, you know, you go into business and now what do you do? It doesn't matter what is beer or something else. It's my experience in that and also how you pull those things together to start going from there. The second part is developing your story. What do you want to be known for? Who are you? What's your business do? You have to develop that story and make sure that things really come together in a way that make a lot of sense. I fall into that trap a lot, you know, in marketing, you know, even as an agency owner and somebody that's looked for, for strategy. And I love doing the strategy, but every once in a while you start to put things together and you go down this rabbit hole and you're like, okay, where were we talking about? And one of the first episodes I did is, so what is your story? It's very important that you understand that. It's very important that when you're putting things together, you understand what the story is, how it gets started. And some of it's going to be written on the fly as you go. But when you first start out, like, why did you start this? What are you doing? Talk about why your brewery, you know, what's going to set you apart? Again, it goes hand in hand with the story part, but What's going to be the differentiator that brings people into the tap room, that gets people talking about your beer, that has certain elements of maybe your label design, your branding? What is that going to be that pulls people in there? So why your brewery? Local ties. I think a couple episodes ago, we talked about community. You want to tie that story into your community. You want to make sure that you're, you're working with different charities or local initiatives so that you stay in good standing with the community, but you also have some goodwill out there and how you can leverage your marketing into that. Talk about social media mistakes, social media channels, and what you need to do. And it all comes down to the strategy and the story. So the, the book actually has a, a flow to it. So I didn't just throw it together. 
I put a lot of thought into it and worked with some people to, to edit it down so that you could have a quick read, but it could help anybody out get started with a, with a strategy. Hey, if you're enjoying what you're hearing on the show and want more, head on over to tapsandtees.info and get our free report with game-changing tips and strategies straight to your inbox. Just enter your info and stop being stuck with no marketing plan. So I talk about in the book some mistakes that are made that are common in small business and and in golf businesses, as well as breweries that I see. Talk about the channels. We'll just stop right there for a second and go a little bit into this. You know, everybody wants to be on every single channel. They want to be on Facebook. They want to be on Instagram. They want to be on Twitter. They want to be on Snapchat. Really, if you're just starting out in any business, you want to master one and then move to the next one. So let's just use Facebook as an example. You want to start there. You want to build a community. You want to crush it there. Understand how it works. Then move to Instagram then move to Twitter or whatever order that you're doing it. But you also want to make sure you understand where your audience is. So you want to go there first and really start to hone in on what that thing is that you're selling. Again, it goes back to your story and strategy. We'll talk a little bit in the next chapter. It's called Sharks Poker and Putting It All Together. And that's really about Bad Rhino a little bit. We had clients on Shark Tank. We had a poker brand. We've had craft beer, golf, jewelry stores bra shops. We've had a variety of clients, both large and small over our eight years so far. And talking about that experience and how it's lended you know, itself in different ways to bring on new clients. And sometimes you're like, whoa, we did this here. And now it's a totally different industry, but the mistake was the same or the strategy is similar. And we don't believe in just taking one strategy and applying it to another company. So having all that experience really helps our strategies come out. And that's why I wanted to write that book as well as talking about that, talking about our expertise, talking about the things. It's like a giant business card is what my book is, but it's a little bit entertaining and I've gotten some great reviews so far. Controlling social media, that's where we end it in the book. And controlling social media doesn't mean that how you're going to literally control it. It's almost impossible, but how are you going to actually take care of all this? Because it's time consuming. You know, it's the biggest thing that we hear in our agency is we need somebody to do this because we just don't have the time to do it right. And that's really the key is to do it right. It takes a little bit more time than just throwing a post on Instagram, throwing some hashtags and hoping you get some likes. You want to get people through your doors and controlling it and how you manage it is huge. And um, that's just a little rundown of the book. Like I said, this one's going to be a commercial. So if you're still listening the title of this one is Being a Rockstar. Sure, I'll sign my book. And the little story is I was speaking at the first one, at first speaking event I got from this book. It was at a, a brewer's conference, a small guild. And um, I'm sitting there and I have the books all spread out. And I sold a handful. I was giving a couple away and just talking about it. And people are introducing themselves to me. And somebody comes up at the end. And they say, would you sign the book? And most of the time when I send books out, so if you're listening to this and you got one, you'll notice I signed one of the pages. But um, the one time I'm standing there and I'm like, I never expected that, you know, like, oh, would you sign my book when you get my autograph? I was like floored. Like, I was like, sure. And as I'm doing it, I was like, so surreal. Man, someone wants me to sign their book. And I was just sitting there. And then what happened was somebody saw me sign one. And then somebody else came in and you're at a craft beer event. So everybody's drinking and then somebody else wants to take a picture with me. And it was just this whole little thing that kind of came out. And I'm like, man, I'm just Marty McDonald. I own an agency. I love craft beer. I love golf. And here I am signing my book about craft beer. So it'll be interesting to see when the the golf book comes out, if I get the same type of response. And it was really unique in that. But I I wanted to do a, a quick little episode about the book because A lot of people ask me, hey, is this for any business? And you can take this and you just scrub out the craft beer part and you can just apply it to, like I said earlier, just about every business. I think when you look at social media and what you want to do with it, think of it as a conversation. And this book is almost an extension of our marketing in that way. So if you're thinking of writing a book for your business, think of it that way. It's just an extension and trying to continue that conversation in many forms. Like right now you're listening to a podcast, which I'll promote on social media. 
and through other avenues, but it also ties into my book. That's why I wanted to do a quick little episode about the book because you want to look at all your marketing pieces and what types of content you're putting out there. So if you're in any business, but we use a craft beer as an example, maybe you're not ready to write a book, nor maybe you don't want to, but maybe somebody on your team wants to. And that could be a simple book. It doesn't have to be too crazy. It could be an ebook that you, you put out there that's just like how to get started, you know, how to do certain things within your business. And the trials and tribulations that you went through to get maybe zoning and then other licensing that you need and get the equipment in there. People look for that and you can really start to, to build a name for yourself in whatever industry you are if you put something in there. So that's enough about the commercial for the book. I wanted to put it in there. And like I said earlier in this episode, I was a little reluctant, but as my good friend Ben Settle says, if you're not promoting, what else are you going to do? And in his opinion, get humble opinion, he'd be the, the best person to talk about email marketing. And I agree. And that's why I'm doing this. You got to promote yourself. So hope you enjoyed this little thing. If you're interested in the book, it's greatbeersnotenough.com. And I'll see you on the next episode of Tap to Beat. This is the podcastfactory.com.